Well, Evs, what's the crack? My name is Orgy Runner, and welcome back to some more Dead Rising. Right, we are on the. Uh, no, we're not on the last case, far from, but we are investigating the whole Santa Cabeza thing, and we are on a very tight, 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 tight time schedule. It starts at 3, so uh, the goal is the security room. Uh, I mean, I have uh, plenty of time. I, I can do this uh, other side quest here. A strange group. That is where I do battle with the uh, cult leader of the, you know, cultists. The guys in the raincoats and the scary little masks. Okay, so I'm going to go out, meet that guy, see what his story is. Get out of my way. Because he is in, he is in the movie theater in Wonderland Plaza. Okay, can I take this bucket here? What can I actually do with this? Oh, get off, get off! Stop, 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 stop! Oh, I can't, can I, can I put this on his head? Oh! You know, that actually suits you! Ow! No, don't be doing that! There you go. Stuff this in your pipe! You won't be biting no one now. <gasps> here, guy! You need a hand? Well, I've got several appendages here for you! Oh! Okay, I don't think you'll be getting up any time soon. Anyway, you two, you can uh, uh, stay there, do your own thing. Uh, by the way, see, this is what happens. This is what happens during a pandemic, during a zombie outbreak. See, this is what happens when you don't obey the two meter rule. I mean, if you stay at least two meters away from the infected, you won't get bitten. They won't be in arm's reach. They won't be within a biting range. However, if you have something that is at least two meters in length, like this mannequin, you can, of course, bait them over the head. Until the mannequin explodes into several teeny tiny pieces. But... In saying that, when it bursts into several tiny pieces, you can then use those pieces to bait them some more. Like so. Down you go. Someone out of being that two meter distance, bait them over the head. Smash them. Smack their bottoms. And run past them. All while maintaining that good social distance. And as you can clearly see, these guys ain't obeying the, uh, you know, two meter rule. There you go. Okay, so strange group. It is up this way. Yes, they are a very strange group indeed. Okay, give me this bench. I'm just gonna yeet this at you. Yeet! Oh! Oh, god damn! Right in the face. Yeah. Oh, toy laser sword. Oh, ye What on earth are you even doing? Oh! Yes, it's on get right. Can I actually kill you with this? Back oh! oh no, oh no, oh no, I'm low on health. I've no health, I've no health. Oh god, 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 oh god. Here you go! Oh, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I need to get me some health because I am in a dire circumstances. I need some juice. I need something. More importantly, I need everyone to back up. Start up being that social distancing, of course. Uh, okay, what's the easiest way to get to the restaurant? Probably up this way. Now imagine if the cultists were in this shop. I'd be pretty screwed. And they are right outside my favorite restaurant. Oh god, this is this is bad. This is bad, but luckily enough, I can just pick them off like so. They're not aware of what's going on. <gasps> oh, he's definitely. Oh, never, never mind. <gasps> Ooh, back it up. Back it up. Ooh, oh god, they're so close. <gasps> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. They're getting smart. They're getting too smart for their own good. But at least I'm getting a lot of PP points from this. Look. Okay, just take him out nice and easy breezy. 
completely oblivious to what's going on. And boom, like that they are all dead. So I definitely need to grab some OJ while I'm here. Lovely stuff. And I, I think I'm okay on ammo, mostly okay. So if I am dealing with a boss, I should be able to handle him. Or her, whichever. Yeah, I'm gonna take this. Oh, and I have to keep an eye on this Santa Basin thing. But I have plenty of time. Ooh, it's almost three o'clock. Oh, oh God, oh God. There are a lot of them. You know what? I'll just run past them. You know what? I've actually never been up here. Not once. Okay, kind of spooky. Okay, I'm just gonna back out very slowly. Prank that girl Isabella, she woke up. Oh, did she now? Looks like Brad's ready to interrogate her. If you want to hear what, she oh, 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 no, 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 you don't be doing any of that. You have plenty of time for this Celtic Basic thing, I think, because this is where I need to be. Turn your tainted blood to the foul earth that has spawned you. Whoa, okay, so we're going all Devil May Cry now, are we? Okay. Well, two can play at that game. Oh, your name is Sean. Okay, cool. Nice Irish name. <gasps> oh god! Oh come on! Can you just go down already? No, screw it. You're getting shotgunned. Ah, oh, that was a cheap shot. Ow! 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 You know, for the piece of the resistance, I'll just finish you off. By the way, up to Samurai! There we go. Give me strength. I beseech Oh. Okay, but brainwashing tips, so. Escorted survivors no longer fear death and really jump into danger. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh. Right. This book will actually be very handy. Hey! Get back! I'll fucking smooch thee! Yes, you heard that right. It said smooch. I will smooch them to death. Ow. 
Yes, Immortal Sword. This will do it. Oh! Ow! <gasps> ow! 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 Ouchie! Ow! 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 Okay, that was cheap. That was cheap. Ah! Yeah! 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 Ow! ow. Stop doing that. Okay, come on, guys. Oh, can't rescue you yet, no? Would you hold still? God damn it, Rank, you are a fake. Oh, Jesus Christ, you, you have TNT. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, no, 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 don't chase me down, for the love of god, don't do that. No, I'll just finish you off with the shotgun, because I don't have time to waste on the likes of you. <gasps> oh, nice. Oh, don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare. <gasps> Okay, I'm slowly but surely wearing them down. One by one. Okay, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Oh god, the Santa Cabeza mission. Oh no, 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 no. Wait, why can't I? Oh, there we go. Come on, we gotta go. Yes, I really don't want to start from the beginning. Are you all right? Oh God, I'm I'm living up all the levels now. Okay, come on. Come on, guys, I can't wait all day. Seriously. I mean, I suppose I could. Uh, you know what? I'll start this from the beginning because I know well I'm going to miss that timeline. Or that deadline. Alright. <sighs> Alright, just a quick little briefing. Uh, this took me ages to do. Like, literally an hour has passed between me going back, re-beating that cycle, and then trying to rush the survivors over to this uh, safe house, but I left them behind. So what I'll do is I'll engage in the next mission. By the way, this took me a good three, four, five, at least six attempts. So I was going back and forth, restarting my game, trying to save as much time as possible, but it just wasn't working out for me. So I left whatever survivors I could save behind me so I can engage in this next mission so the time won't expire. Uh, yikes, this is going to be a very short episode because this has frustrated me to no end. Okay. Uh, right. What is your name? Isabella. Isabella Keys. Well, Isabella, this is an emergency, so we'll skip the formalities and cut to the chase. Consider this an official interrogation. Tell me everything that you know. Fine. I'll explain why all of this is your fault. There was no drug trade in Santa Cabeza. Just an American research facility. They were doing research on some sort of parasitic insect. Like a wasp. A wasp that turns living things into zombies. If you don't believe me, just ask the man who was in charge of that research. The head of the Santa Cabeza Livestock Research Facility, Dr. Barnaby.
Tell me the truth, Doc. Were you conducting experiments with zombies? Made zombie livestock. <laughs> so the government's now in the zombie making business. The whole story about the drug trade was a cover up? What do you know? Trying to mass produce cattle. Do you have any idea how much meat Americans consume in a single day? That research was absolutely. Necessary. <laughs> I haven't done anything. One day, in my village, the people turned into zombies. Those damn wasps. They escaped from the lab. It wasn't long before they got to work. Some were afraid. The army was called in. They killed everyone. So, the terrorism is a retaliation for a cruel government cover-up. Sounds plausible. Or it could be some serious bullshit. In either case, we have to get out of here alive if we want to find out for sure. We have to check if she's been bitten. Let me take a look. I'm a medical technician. I could be useful if you let me do my job. I know I have no right to ask, but please, let me help. If you don't get out of here, the truth dies with you. <clears throat> All right. If allowing you to atone for you and your brother's scheme makes things go more smoothly for us, I'm all for it. Oh. 
All right, so this whole zombie business was started or was spread by um, by Dr. Barnaby nearly enough. Like, I didn't realise that it was uh, the... The bees, the, the flies, whatever, the wasps, that could actually spread the disease as well. Okay, that is new to me because, like I said, I did play this years ago, but I don't ever remember fully completing it. I remember failing it many times, but I don't uh, remember the true ending because there's multiple endings you can get. I'm not sure what the... Um What's the term I'm looking for? Uh, I'm not sure how about... Uh, I'm not sure how to go about getting the different endings. Like there's ending A, B, C and D probably. I think there's about three or four different endings. Or five possibly. I'm not sure. I think it's on the basis of how many people you save. How quick you complete the game. And... Uh, yeah, that... That's about it. Again, I'm not sure of the specification of the endings or what they require. I'm not sure of the requirements is the word I was looking for Christ. So, uh, yeah. Um, anywho, next case will occur at 11 a.m. Uh, would I overwrite the game? Uh, yeah, might as well. Okay, and I have to go and save these five numbskulls. So, what is it? Last resort, okay. Maybe I might have been better to, it might have been better to try and do that psychopath battle later on. Bottle battle, that's what I meant to say. Psychopath battle later on in the game. Because I didn't realize I'd be given this much time to complete the next mission. Oh, come on, I need to save, I need to save Ray. Ray is on his way out. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Okay, they're all over there. I think they're mostly safe. Oh no! Okay, get your asses over there. Oh no! Raid's about to go down. Oh, and I killed Ray. Sugar, 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 sugar. Well, looks like I'm restarting again. Alright, after that ordeal, I am practically done with this video. Holy shit. I mean, if there's one thing that has always been an annoyance whenever I've ever played this game, either in my youth or later, it's the time constraints in relation to the missions and, of course, saving survivors and dealing with the psychopaths and whatnot. And, of course, uh, you need to, to nearly do everything in this game to have a, a decent chance at passing it because when you save the survivors you get pp points when you defeat psychopaths you get pp points and pp points are essential in you know leveling up getting more inventory spaces to hold more goods when you stop running around like a bunch of idiots and again look look at the way this ai is programmed i mean who the hell programmed this ai i mean i don't see why i mean this this all this right here i don't understand why this couldn't have been fixed in a patch. I mean, this game is how many years old? 14 years old. It came out in what, 2006? Yeah, 2006. And the AI is still like this. I mean, obviously, Capcom are beyond the point of patching it now. Because, again, the game is ancient to them. It's not even last gen. It's the gen before that. I mean, we're on what? PS5 is what? 8th? Um, 8th eighth? Eighth gen? Is it? I, I think PS4, 7th gen, and uh, Xbox 360, PS3, those are 6th gen, uh, gen consoles, I think. So we're talking about a game that has three generations old in terms of consoles. But you would think for a game that has been ported and remastered, <laughs> it would get minor bug updates. I mean... The biggest bugs in the game are the survivors themselves. I mean, they can't survive for shit. I mean, look, you see them running around like idiots, like Mo, Larry, and Curly bumping into each other, fighting each other. They, they have no clue, not a care in the world. But I'm just wasting time uh, for the for the next mission. And look, I can't even get past these idiots. Look, 
Look! Oh my god, look, I've to battle them. I've to fucking. I've to beat them. I've to battle them. I've to start a freaking war with them to be able to get in here. Jesus, look at this. I mean, look at all these guys now. They're, they're, they're going at each other's throats. Like I was saying before, it was hell annoying trying to get through this. An ordeal. Dante's Inferno. Dark Souls. Whatever you want to compare it to. I mean. I mean, obviously, me, myself, personally, I can't compare to Dark Souls. I've never played Dark Souls. I've never played Demon Souls. I've never played the Souls series. Or Bloodborne, for that matter. I really want to play those games. I mean, if... Uh... What's going on here? No. Oh my god, how rude of me. Anyway guys, you know what to do. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment, favorite, share, and of course subscribe. It really helps the channel grow. And I will see you in the next one. So until next time, see ya.